Venice High School head football coach John Peacock was fired from his position two months ago. Tonight, he's been given a reprieve and will return to the sidelines for the defending state champions. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo caught up with the coach to find out his plans moving forward. Well, that's right, Jess. Venice High principal Eric Jackson made the announcement to bring back Coach Peacock, who was fired back in April 25th for liking a so-called racist tweet. Coach Peacock just says he's glad and humbled to be back. You know, obviously when you lose something, you, um, you become a little bit more grateful for it um, when you, once you get it back. In the two month span without a job, coach John Peacock says he learned a life lesson after liking a former player's tweet directed at Braden River coach Kurt Bradley. I think it's an opportunity for me to kind of reinvent myself and um, I think we all strive to uh, ha have self improvement in all kinds of areas and, and um, yeah, that's something I look forward to and look forward to working on. Also saying he went as far as making amends. There's, there's no hard feelings towards anybody, you know, actually me and Coach Bradley have had uh, multiple conversations since the incident and uh, you know, it, we're just all looking to move forward in a positive direction right now. And part of that right direction for Peacock includes going through social media and sensitivity training. He will also be suspended for three weeks to start the 2018 season. Bill Buck Chevrolet dropped its sponsorship of the program and the dealership's owner started a petition to have Peacock reinstated as coach. Sales manager Monty Jacobs says everything is right in the world now that he's back. Anybody that's been around any kind of athletics knows that tradition is very important. Consistency, tradition, dedication, and effort, and John Peacock, he helps with all that. The kids love him. At this point, Coach Peacock has already conducted his first practice for the upcoming season. It may make the rivalry between Brain River and Venice a lot more interesting. Reporting in Venice, Dwayne Lindo, your Suncoast News.